doing it. Today's the day. Just get a hold of yourself, Ominous. Don't back out again. What's the worst that can happen? I suppose she could completely ignore you after, or possibly hate you for it. Oh, that's rubbish, and you know it, you jerk. This is MC we're talking about. She wouldn't be that shallow. How dare you think she would be? No, you're telling her tonight, you have to. It would just be easier to ignore it at this point. Maybe. Get a grip on yourself, for goodness sake. You've been friends forever. Why are you so nervous? Hey, Ominous, over here. And there she is. She sounds so joyful. Do I really have to tell her? <sighs> Ominous, how are you this morning? I'm fine, thank you. Did either of you remember that quiz Professor Bins mentioned? I don't remember what he was talking about the other day. I honestly can't recall either, but I remember having a nice dream till MC woke me up. Okay, and? If you had been caught asleep, it wouldn't have ended well for you. I did you a favor. What I want to know is why it was me who had to wake you instead of the lad who rooms with you. Ow! Uh -huh. You fu- That was my shin! I went out Shit. of my way to wake him when it should have been you. You're only a couple feet away from him. I was almost late myself. He was probably trying to show up before me so he could come across as the better student to the professor. Which didn't work, by the way. He ended up staying after class and clapping erasers. For no reason, might I add. It was Everett's idea to release those frogs. I just happened to be sitting next to him and got the blame. Oh yes, and I'm sure you didn't encourage him to do so? You had no involvement at all, hmm? I still didn't do it. I was framed. I want justice. They're not serving any justice, you Nimrod. It's too early in the morning. Here, have some eggs and toast. Fine, I'll eat the eggs. But only because I'm hungry, because I'm still majorly offended. You're hungry? I missed dinner yesterday because of you guys. I've seen you sneak a few snacks in class, MC. You can't be starving that much. I'm snacking to make up for all the meals you guys make me miss. <laughs> oh, look. Owls are here. <laughs> oh, MC's got a letter. It seems miracles still come true after all. Hush before I give you a bruise to match on your other leg. What? What is it? Who's it from? For from mother and father. Strange. I've never heard of you getting a letter from your family before. Or ever reacting that way to one. Well, that's because they're always busy in London. Lots to do, places to be. You know how it is. Um... Yeah, sure. I guess. MC... Are you... Are you alright? You seem a bit... shaken up. Yes, I'm... I mean... No, not really. I... I... I'm sorry. I... I have to go. What's wrong with her? I couldn't... really tell you. All I know is that she opened that letter and the next minute she was crying. What? Crying? Over what? Why didn't you tell me she was crying? I just did. And how would I know? I'm just as lost as you. Here. She left her letter on the table. Dear MC, we are thrilled to inform you that we have arranged a special alliance with the esteemed Devonshire family. Their heritage and values align perfectly with ours, ensuring a harmonious future for both families. It is our greatest wish that this union... <coughs> I, I'm sorry, did you just... <clears throat> did you just say union? It would appear so, but no. No, that can't be true. Can it? Uh, they must have meant a different kind of union, like... Maybe her father's in some kind of labor work. Oh, really? And what kind of labor involves both families? Well, maybe, um... 
Well, I don't know. We... Ugh. This is nonsense. We shouldn't even be reading this anyway. I won't have it. It's invading her privacy. And hey! I'll read it. Sebastian, stop. It's not ours to read. You can cut the act, Ominous. I know you want to know just as badly as I, if not worse. Well, what does it say? It says... Um... It says what? Her... Her parents want her to come home soon. Oh, well, that's not so bad. They found her a husband. A husband? What do you mean, a husband? Shh, are you loony, bloke? Quiet. We're not even supposed to be reading this, let alone shouting MC's business around to bounce off the walls. Sit down. Sebastian, they plan to... Sit. <sighs> They're planning to marry her off. I know, but yelling it won't do anything to change it. It'll just embarrass MC on top of everything else. I know, I know. You're right. Just go on. Okay. According to the letter, um, he's a ministry worker. Oh, gosh. It gets worse. A 32-year-old. He's looking for a, a younger wife. Oh, my word. I can't read any more of this. <laughs> That's disgusting. I can't believe they... But she's only... We... Poor MC. We can't let her be... We have to find her. Right. I don't care who this guy is. He can't have her. I'll go back through the castle and you go outside. All right. We'll meet at the viaduct courtyard if we can't find her by three. I hope she's okay. Now, where would I go if I didn't want to be around anyone? Oh, I know where she is. MC? MC, are you out here? We grew worried. I'm just checking to see if you're okay. Wherever you are. <sighs> you really shouldn't run off like that, darling. You gave us a terrible fright. Sorry. I didn't want you to see me so... distraught. A lot of good that was, though, huh? You, uh... You left your letter behind in the hall. I know we shouldn't have read it, but... We were concerned by how you bolted out of there in tears. But now we understand why. A reasonable response, I'd say. You went through my stuff? Ominous, that's not okay! I apologize for that, but you left so urgently, and you were in tears. You know, under any normal circumstances, I would never do that. It still that. doesn't make it okay. That was my letter. Neither you... is what they're doing to you. MC, just because they're your parents doesn't mean they can... I mean... Ugh. They can't force you to get married. MC, you must know this. Actually, they can. As far as everyone is concerned, I am my father's daughter until I am someone's wife. Besides, I always knew this day was coming. It shouldn't have shocked me, but I just completely forgot about it. They want me home as soon as I graduate. No, I won't let you. This is clearly something you don't want. Neither me nor Sebastian will allow anyone to strong-arm you into this arrangement. You don't understand. I have to. But why? What don't I understand, MC? Tell me. They're my family. 
I have never disobeyed them. What? That's what's urging you to do this? Oh, for the love of... You've obliterated an army hidden in plain sight. Yet you can't disobey your family when they're bludgeoning a life decision because on... Because if I do, they'll disown me. I'll never see them again. Would that honestly be so bad if they're the ones forcing you to... Then I'll have no one left. You'll have me! I, I mean, I... This isn't where I wanted to say it. Or how... Certainly not when I wanted. I planned something more... romantic... for you. But... I guess... Ugh. I'll just come out and say it since the whole thing is spoiled now. Yes? I... I love you, MC. I have loved you for such a long time. Uh, I hear you every day, and every time I'm close to you, it feels like I'm falling in love all over again. I need you like one needs air. I need to hold your hand as we do under the tables when one isn't looking. I want to be with you, and not just in your company. I mean, I want to be with you. Together. As a couple. As a... You love... Me? Are you... certain? The most certain I've been of anything in my life. I love you unconditionally, irrevocably. Every time I hear that you've gone out to battle some wicked beings or some vicious monster, my only wish is that you'd take me with you. I hate feeling like I can't protect you. My love for you is so deep. I would cast the Cruciatus Curse if it meant saving your life. I would do it. Anything for you. But... your family... I've disowned my family a long time ago. They tried to make me into something I'm not. The same way yours is currently trying to do. Ominous. You should back up before the boat rocks. Please. Give me your answer now. I swear to you, I will never bother you again. Just... just please tell me. I love you too. I would tell you how long I've been waiting to do that, but I don't want to make it weird. <laughs> it's okay. I wouldn't mind knowing. How long has it been? When did we first meet? Um, maybe two years ago? Two and a half? Then, about two and a half years. <laughs> my, my, that's an awful lot of waiting, don't you think? Maybe. But I'd wait forever for you, MC. I really would. Because it doesn't matter anyway. Miss you.